Hi, and good afternoon. Hairstyle. Thank you. Um, I didn't know I had a hairstyle until last evening. This is all gray. Anyway, I love you all. Come on. What do you say when someone says, I love you? I love you. One more. I love you all. All right, Einstein said, one of the greatest scientists ever lived, you can't solve today's problems with the same thinking that created them. Yeah, we've heard that. Logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. So my slight analogy today is intuition is imagination and the frequency is nothing but love. Do you remember doing a birthday card to your loved one? Parent, child, teacher? You almost start it unpremeditated, -pre but you arrive at something that's unprecedented, isn't it? That is the intuition we talk about today, which can be applied to technology as well. And I like to tell you one more powerful thing about love. Dr. Masaru Imoto, he has touched, his research has touched me, sorry about that. He crystallized water and tried to show how the emotions can affect matter. And that's how it is on the screen. And these are his findings. If you expose water into human emotions in terms of vibrations, in terms of music, you may call it. Now, yes, one may say, okay, what about you change languages? Yep, they have done this research in many languages as well, and they found the crystal structure of water changing with human emotions. Now, here's the magic. 92% of volume of our blood is water. 60% of our weight is water. So if you love, not the love, get married, have kids, after 30 years, said, oh, what happened? No, if you inculcate love, which every religion talks about today, you can be selfish. It'll take your diabetes away. <laughs> okay, I'm not getting into that. But if you look at Mecca water, holy water, Pirit Pang in Buddhism, there is a resonance. So I like to go one step forward and say, hey, two-thirds of our planet is water. What if 7.3 billion people just love our Earth? We can do a big change. All it takes is a shift within. So the blueprint for change from my angle is the frequency of love. I pay tribute to Dr. Masaru Imoto. He He's no more with us since 2014. I take just a few seconds. God bless his soul. His research is being continued. I hope it will come into peer-reviewed journals and inspire people to see in the current context of what religions told us 5,000 years ago. Now, love. Do you love your home? Yes or no? What do you feel when you think home? Relaxation, gratitude, peace, isn't it? I kid you not, it's brick and mortar. There's nothing in it. I will give you something to love. seen this wonderful video taken from the International Space Station. 
I would advise you, please have a look at it daily, just for one minute. It'll purify you. Just a little stats. You see that little crust above it, which is called our atmosphere, which is the air conditioning, I called, of our home. This is our home. There are about 1.2 billion cars. 100 million cars come every year onto the roads. 20,000 aircrafts fly around. 100,000 ships go around. We are not essentially going anywhere, isn't it? We are using 20 terawatt hours of energy just to go nowhere. And the result is we are pushing 36.8 billion tons of CO2. We all know that. But essentially, we are not going anywhere. The message for me today is we have about 195 rooms in this little home called China, Canada, USA, Sri Lanka. We are just, you know, running here and there to make ourselves happy. That's about it. So, essentially, a human being, if we just be, we can still enjoy the earth without pushing 36 billion tons. But yes, we cannot. We have to come to stage, we have to have our air conditioning, we have to have our phones. Yes. So let's not change. There's another way to handle it. This is the energy uh, pattern in Sri Lanka. Timeline is at the bottom. Top is the megawatt megawatts. If you can see from 6 o'clock to about 11 p.m., we peak up. Because we all go home and put our lights on and all the plants are on and all that. This is a pain point for us. This is where the thermal generators are firing because we cannot use solar either at this time. So, something little like pushing your washing machine after 10 o'clock, plugging your kettle, plug your phones, electric vehicles, the non-demand which can work after 10 o'clock can push them. That's something we all can contribute. Another shot. This appeared in the Sunday Leader. I just put this photo because you can see a maze of pollution there. So, each car uses only 20% of the litre of petrol that you put in. 80% is lost in the exhaust, isn't it? I think most of us know that. So, tons and tons of CO2 going up is actually our mon money, our cash. So, anything that mitigates Yes, we will be profitable as well. So what? Yes. So, in your transportation, look at hybrids, look at electrics. Um, I like to um, give this analogy always. We have one billion websites, 4.6 billion web pages. There is Google alone, 3.5 billion hits per day pushing a staggering 830 million tons of CO2 internet alone. And what do we use it for? Take a selfie, say hi. Yeah, I'm not saying to stop those. But our 5 megapixel, 8 megapixel cameras, one photograph is almost 3 megabytes. And we push it. Say, I'm in Paris, I'm having, I'm having wine. Yeah, but do simple things like you go to your camera and can we have a zoom? You can go to settings, settings again, photo size, and you have the megapixels. So if you are taking selfies, please, I urge you, drop down the resolution. That can save a lot. Yeah, no? Um, I tried this yesterday. Same photo, 600 kilobytes versus 2.4 MB of data. That's big. But we can all help in that manner. Okay, now that's being responsible in consumerism. I like to say this. Can we create a responsible product so that you don't need to sacrifice or be a responsible consumer. Yes, we can. 
that's a new phase that we are shifting into and this is it this is where climate change is your belt your shirt your pair of glasses your pen your phone your car go home appliances all have three stages right this is called the product life cycle now each stage we can make it greener and sustainable now the debate that we already have we may say china is a big polluter look there if you have 10 appliances in your house today when you go and see can you blame china so product can be manufactured in china let's say it's used in sri lanka and i throw it in hawaii where does the carbon footprint who do you finger point no such thing we are all human beings all the industrious countries brought us this lovely stage air conditioning and all that let's just blame the product and reengineer it so a small example i'm glad i got the opportunity to uh, put this on the global agenda the rubber tree it has lots of data but it's the highest co2 absorbing machine ever in terms of the biosphere 10.6 tons per hectare per annum yeah so there are so many other options it promotes humidity it promotes soil nutrients and guess what guess what the third line sorry third one the produce you get latex is 88% carbon carbon got from where from the atmosphere so the raw material we are a group of us looking at 36.8 billion tons of free raw material up there why not use it to create products yeah how with this simple narrative latex comes from the tree we go through a factory we produce a product i kid you not we did the first iso 14064 assessment it was net 400 kg negative meaning you buy a simple mattress you autonomously grow eight rubber trees it reduces 400 kg co2 no rocket science a little bit of intuition because i love the planet earth so quickly also the product does not have to sacrifice comforts anymore this product is superior while reducing atmospheric carbon there are 7.3 billion people if we all sleep in this product there will be tons of luscious green rubber plantations all over the world but today we are just cutting it down because we don't see the value yeah so as a brochure this would be the lovely brochure this was a dream of mine so converting co2 into a luxurious product that's a responsible product so is a led so is a electric vehicle so is fantastic innovations that are going to come so a you can contribute by being a responsible consumer like the little analogy i gave b you can be aware and consume responsible products as simple as that so we have done a labeling mechanism as well but in the world a lot of promising stuff is coming where very soon when you go to purchase an item you will exactly know the impact to the earth how wonderful would it be for you to select the impact that's how you contribute to consumerism so without further ado i like to put another video which i really love let's all appreciate and meditate on it Thank you. 
I wish every human being sees this video. Thanks to NASA and thanks to a lot of effort. We've got this magnificent stuff. Use this on the internet to see. Post your selfies, but try and put a selfie with the earth as well. Let's resonate. Let's love the earth first. So, I had a dream where our passport says issued from earth. I had a dream where our home address would be Colombo, Sri Lanka, earth. I had a dream that we have our email addresses resonating with earth. So today, that's a lovely country. That's fine, thanks guys. Today, I communicate with Chaminda at vsave.earth. If there's any questions, you can always come here. We are shifting domains from .com to earth, not for any rocket science, just to inculcate the love we have for the home that we are, you know, blessed with. All the wars and the nuclear weapons we have, we can't even damage a spot on the earth. We can only damage its climate and the environment which is conducive to animals and us. Earth doesn't care whether there's uh, carbon dioxide. Venus is about 400 degrees centigrade. The entire atmosphere is CO2, yeah? So, I'd like to just conclude. I'm trying to keep a very tough time frame. So I'm concluding. You may see this in many research papers and all that today, that there is a close relationship between human thought and the balance of the world around us. It is now shown in quantum physics as well, like the water theory I showed you. So, all it takes is a shift within in each individual one of us. You don't need any more magic. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I truly love you all.